Hi, I'm Zeke Peach with Electroautomatic, the leader in DC programmable power supplies, bi-directional power supplies, and electronic loads. Today's video will be about low voltage ride through and the ability of our power supplies to do that. So low voltage ride through, if there's some event to the AC input of a product, it should be able to ride through or continue operating through a, a minimal amount of disturbance. Typically it's about a 20 millisecond ride through or a couple cycles of the, the input uh, to be able to ride through that, that event and continue operating. And normally it's related to a low voltage or a sag. So your voltage is sagging from a nominal, let's say 120, or in this case 480, but down to maybe 10 or 15% of the input nominal voltage. Uh, and then it comes back. What we've got set up is a Pacific power source 3150 AFX AC power supply that's programmable. This allows us to program a disturbance in the AC line. The output of that is going into our PSB 10080-1000 uh, for you 30 kilowatt bidirectional power supply. So the AC power supply from PAC Power is going to supply power to our DC power supply. Uh, you can see on the scope right now, you've got uh, that si yellow sine wave is the AC voltage coming into the PSB. And then I've got an output programmed on the uh, PSB just to show that it's providing an output and we can kind of monitor something uh, while the, uh, the AC input line is disturbed. So I've already been doing some testing. Um, it looks like our unit can ride through about uh, almost 80 milliseconds of, of uh, line disturbance where the input sags on all three phases down to about 40% um, or excuse me, 15% of nominal voltage. So I've already got the 3150 uh, set up to do a transient. Um, it's going to sag the volts down to about 42 volts per phase uh, for a duration of 60 seconds and then it's gonna come right back up to nominal voltage. Our PSB is set up to just provide a small output of only 10 amps. It's only a, a few hundred watts or about 100 watts. Um, just to, again, show uh, on the scope, which is the pink line, that the, vo or the current's not going to be disturbed and our output continues operating uh, while we, we experience this. So, I'm now going to come over to the AFX and hit run, and then what we'll see on the scope, uh, and I'll probably do this a couple times, is a, a sag in the voltage, um, the pink line will stay the same, and then we'll continue operating. So here we go. All right, saw a quick one there, and we're going to do it one more time. Uh, so I paused the scope there. You can see clearly that for about one, two, three, four and a half cycles or so, we've dropped the voltage down to 10% of nominal, or about 15%. And you can see that the pink line shows that the product continues to ride through that event. So uh, if you're in a region where you might experience some voltage sags or dips, uh, our equipment should be able to ride through that depending on how long the requirement is. Um, but generally, only about 20 seconds, is, 20 milliseconds is required, and we're about three times that. If I was to increase this a little bit longer, you would get what's called a PF or power fault on the input. Uh, the input immediately, uh, uh, you get a power fault on the unit, it shuts off the output, but then when, as soon as the power comes back, it, uh, it, it recovers itself automatically. Um, although the out output is not enabled at that point. So, so now I've increased that time, sag time down to about 200 milliseconds, just so we can see uh, what does happen when the output, uh, when you, or when you get that powerful uh, error that comes up on the power supply. So. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and start the AFX again. And then right away there you saw a problem. So uh, we got a PF alarm here on our PSB. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge that. In this case it actually drew a little bit too much 
power from our power supply, so we got our, our uh, voltage exceeded and, di and didn't get a chance to recover like I would have wanted to. But um, normally, the if it's a very short duration, but long enough to trip off uh, the output, then uh, the PSB will recover automatically. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and run this one more time so that we can see that happen. All right, so we're all set up again. Uh, hopefully this time it works. We're going to see a power fault on the PSB, and then it will uh, come back up uh, as soon as the voltage comes back, and, and then we can re-enable the output. So there you saw the output go to zero. Uh, when the power uh, voltage sagged for too long, um, our unit no longer has the power fault. Uh, that's gone away, but our, power, our output is off. We just go back and re-enable the output and we're good to go. So um, it is nice that the unit recovers itself automatically as long as that voltage is, is not gone long enough uh, for the unit to power off completely. So if you have any questions, uh, please send us an email anytime. Thanks.